the official comes to him and says, I, you can heal him. It's not that I don't know who you are. It's that I do. And I know that you're the person that if I come to and I ask, you will come to my son and he will be healed. I know you are life. And so you can give it to my son. There's a recognition that this official understands who Jesus is. And Jesus says what? Go. Your son's going to live. What a powerful word. And you know what the guy doesn't do? No, really, Jesus, I think you should come with me. I, I really need you to come with my son. To my son. I know if you come, he'll be healed. He doesn't say he needs proof. He doesn't say he needs signs. He doesn't need it written down in a document so he can go back just in case Jesus turns out to be wrong. There's a trust there that is inherent. And he goes, okay. And it says he goes. He starts the journey back home. With but the words Jesus speaks, this man has trust. And before he even gets home, he doesn't even get the ability, the chance to see it for himself. One of his slaves comes to him and says, your son is healed. He started getting better. And you can almost read into this. It isn't like a, when did this happen? I need to know so I can validate my beliefs. It is a, <laughs> and when did this happen? Of course it did. Of course, the moment he spoke, it happened. Do you hear the trust in this dynamic, in this relationship that this official has with Jesus? 